Um, we can show you exactly what to do and you'll all benefit by this. So let's walk through this and we'll play with you again if you really want to. We're just making a point, trying to get everybody all understanding that there's really not a lot of value in beating the drum out here in the specifics of what's not working. You got to get to the heart of what's going on. So, so bring us a background to what you said. This is what we heard you say. I am prosperous, would like to be more prosperous. I I have plenty of everything but we want to say to you at the at the beginning of this conversation you attempted to do something that you can't do so we're going to help you to work to understand the, our reasoning about the flaw in what's going on with you you'll hear this really easily you said I've got all the money that I could possibly want or something like that did you get that impression that plenty 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 of money and then you said but I think my beliefs are holding me back from more so there's a sort of contradiction there and th but this is the flaw that you were attempting a lot of people do it so what we were just teasing about Esther asking us to do if you've got a desire that you don't believe so there's discord between the vibrational frequencies and of course the desire is dominant 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 sometimes it feels to you like if you could just pull your desire back the discord would go away I felt better before I wanted that I felt better before I saw that Maserati I did and I felt a lot better before I sat in it <laughs> and I felt way better before I drove it way 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 better before I drove it because now I cannot stop thinking about it and I'm so angry at myself for wanting something that I can't have that's a sort of example of that so like if a car is going 100 miles an hour and it hits a tree it's a bigger problem than if it's going five miles an hour and hits a tree so humans think well I'll just slow the car down and we say no you want to get rid of the trees because you want to go fast you want to go fast you just don't want to be banging into things and so it's releasing the resistance it's not releasing the desire and yet you were sort of attempting to release desire you were trying to convince us all that you were just doing really well and you had all the money that you wanted but there's a contradiction in there because you're not ever going to have everything that you want you're not ever going to be the end of that because with that money that's coming are all kinds of other things all kinds of other freedoms don't talk yourself out of wanting something just because you haven't figured out how to get it that's the biggest flaw that's the biggest vibrationally vibrational inaccuracy that goes on in your vibration all the time so we know that more prosperity is what you want and we and, and the reason we know it is because we've seen your vortex it's full of things you have enough prosperity in there to keep yourself going for 20 or 30 or 40 lifetimes you see and there's no reason that it cannot be flowing into your experience now you just got to get the vibrational frequency of the vortex which is where it always where it is the the trajectory of source which is where it is you just got to bring yourself up to a consistent vibrational level with it so that it can move in realized fashion into your life experience so you are so accurate so wise when you acknowledge I've got beliefs that are hindering me You've, you've assessed that perfectly I've got beliefs that are not vibrationally up to speed with my desire and we want to say in simple terms the only reason that those beliefs hold steady is because you keep practicing them and the reason that you keep practicing them is because you're out here in the wobble zone considering them where there's so much evidence and proof of them it's really difficult in fact it's impossible it is not logical on every on any level to be looking at a reality that has already been manifested and deny it to say it's not true that's what ooh we're really into a new place don't ask the impossible of yourself don't ask yourself to look at evidence of something unwanted and pretend that it didn't happen that's why beliefs are so powerful because you vibrated that way law of attraction produced something that matched it you observed it and then off you go off you go off you go there's a momentum in that too so what do you do well you got to get out of the specifics if you've been listening to us for a while you've heard us say that the, the more you think about something the more the momentum is about it so to slow the momentum you've got to be more general in your thought more general the way you are more general in fact the most general way that anyone could be is to focus upon it on an emotional basis rather than on a detailed basis of it 
So here's a good, so now we're just going to ask you some questions. Don't worry about this. This is going to unfold within you. You're going to feel it so easily. It's not complicated. You're going to hear this and feel it and know it. So tell us just a little bit, if you want to, about, about a belief that you have identified that keeps coming up that you feel is hindering you. I have a habitual sense of this, this paycheck's going to be the last one. I, it's all right. it's I, all right. And I, I lived, at my, my life is very different now than it had been right. earlier yes. in, my, in my life. But, the, but that earlier life, thoughts that you kept thinking, experiences that you kept having, so it's created a, yeah. a belief system that goes like, this is it, it's done. <laughs> and I'm going to get... I'm, I, I could get in trouble again. I could get back into that place. I like the way it is, but I'm guarded that it won't stay this way. I'm, I'm having a hard time convincing myself that where I'm at now, which is absolutely a result of allowing it into my life yeah. and attracting it deliberately. So you've got some beliefs that serve you and some that don't. We want to just talk for a moment about the ones that don't and show sure. you what to do with them. So just speak a little bit more of that to us. I'm worried that it won't last. I, I'm worried that this is temporary. I'm right. worried that I might fall back into some of the same slump. I'm worried that I might lose my momentum. Right. Those kinds of things. All right, so that's logical, isn't it? Now, in the... And I'll, I'll say, I don't... I, don't, I, I recognize those yeah. as impediments. And yeah, but what to do about what them. To do so about we'll show you. Yeah. So in the, in the thought, this... This money may not last. This may be the last money that comes. What's the emotion? What's the emotion that best describes how that thought causes you to feel? Fear. That's, that's accurate. And, that's, and, and it's good to acknowledge that. So now, let's never mind the conditions. Because the conditions have momentum going. They are the byproduct of a lot of stuff that's going on. You've got this well-being trajectory and you've got this hindering trajectory. So you've got this wobble and these conditions are there. There's enough momentum going that to talk about them is, is just going to cause confusion usually. Mm -hmm. And all, more often than not, going to cause you to practice the vibration of what's causing the fear even more. You're just going to get more detailed about it because that's what attention to something always does. So, but instead of doing that, let's take the fear, which is, which is at the basis of, of uh, the very general basis of, of this discussion. And we just want to ask you some, some easy to answer questions apart from those conditions. Just leave those aside for a little bit and focus upon the emotion of fear. Do you prefer the feeling of fear to the feeling of, e or the feeling of ease? I far prefer the feeling of ease. Ease. Do you, fe do you prefer fear or fun? Fun. <laughs> do you prefer fear or interest? I much prefer interest. Do you prefer fear or clarity? Clarity. Do you prefer fear or love? Love. So, now that was easy. So, love and clarity and ease. Do you prefer frenzy or calm? <laughs> That's a, that is a more challenging question. Do you prefer do you prefer imbalance or balance? Balance. Do you prefer angst or ease? Ease. Do you prefer resistance or allowing? These are easy questions we know. Almost so easy that it feels silly. But but as he's answering these questions, he's focusing on who he really is. Do you prefer boredom or interest? Interest. 
Do you prefer um, sluggishness or vitality? Vitality. Do you prefer vitality or lethargy? Vitality. Do you prefer interest or boredom? Interest. Do you prefer happiness or sadness? Happiness. So, so, when dollars are flowing, do they feel like bondage or freedom? Freedom. They feel like boredom or interest? Interest. Do they feel like uh, lethargy or passion? Passion. So, so everything about everything that you want is already really in a core way active within you and you just activated it so easily in other words there was just no contest whatsoever it's so obvious where your natural vibration is you just aligned with your absolute trajectory of who you are in other words just with that little exercise there's no contradiction in your vibration right now it was just clarity you just lined up so easily with all of that you found unconditional alignment just with a little bit of focus you just came out of the details that are more challenging into something that is not challenging at all these were really no-brainers it was so easy for you to find that and so now we would like you to tell us again about the prosperity state that you're living in it's awesome it <laughs> is great it is awesome it's, isn't it and it, it, it and it feels strong it feels sure it feels valid it feels intense it feels natural yeah. it feels ongoing it feels it feels in the right place in other words right now you just practice the vibration of alignment you took a subject that that life has caused you to put into a very powerful place because as we said and we weren't kidding you at all there is enough prosperity financial prosperity in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 or 40 lifetimes there's a huge amount of it there and you just lined right up with it because you for a moment got out of the conditions that were the challenge you deactivated all of those conditions that have been keeping that belief in an active place and if you can do that often enough that belief that has been in an active place for a while will not stay in an active place because it's not it didn't get big and therefore it's got a lot of momentum going and it's going to stay there it only it's only a belief that keeps going because you keep adding attention to it did you hear that now hear this this is the best thing that you're ever going to hear and you've never heard it before and you're ready to hear it now why do you think this trajectory of well-being never peters out because the source within you has undivided attention on that and when you stop giving your nearly undivided attention on the wobble stuff it will peter out and this is who you'll be all that you were born did you hear that did you hear that did you hear that did you hear that all that you were born with and everything that you've added to it since you see oh that's a powerful trajectory that someone is tending to and when you stop tending to the beliefs that don't serve you they will become inactive in your experience this is what's active in your experience so what we just said to you is you added more momentum to these intentions that you've been holding for a long time just by not adding contradictory Did you hear what we said in other words the cork floats you don't have to hold it up there what are you doing I'm holding my vibration I'm holding my vibration up there you don't have to hold your vibration up there just don't pull it under the water with bogus flawed premises Ooh, that was so good yeah Enough? That was great.